all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from k hux nation and for today's video is a dragalia lost update video uh in terms of some new units that we'll be receiving in two days so in two days we're going to be having a new uh summon showcase featuring dragons okay and we're going to be getting three new featured dragons uh for the game uh first of them is being Nyarlathotep, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, the second one being Pazuzu, and the third one being Nidhogg, all right? Uh, now, just like before, we'll go ahead and go through each of them, give my thoughts about them, and which ones I think are worth chasing, if any, okay? So, first of all, we got Nyarlathotep, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, it's a five-star uh, dark dragon. All right, let's see, uh, his first, his skill, or you know, his activated ability is deal shadow damage to enemies directly ahead. So it's basically just a basic beam-like damage uh, ability. His passive abilities are, if the user is attuned to shadow, increase his strength by 50% when HP is 30% or above. A second passive is uh, last bulwark two. If the user is attuned to shadow, Grants the user a one-use shield that nullifies damage less than 60% of their maximum HP when HP drops to 30%. This does not stack with any other shields. So just to quickly explain in case you didn't quite understand that. All right, uh, the first ability. Attuned to Shadow means that if your character that the dragon is equipped to is a shadow character, it will gain those bonuses. All right, just throwing that out there in case anybody need that clarification. So the first ability means that if the if Yarlo Thotep is equipped to a shadow character, that character would then gain an increase of 50% in strength when they're when the character's HP is 30% or higher. All right. Um, the same thing with the second ability. If they're a two, if they're a shadow character when they're equipped to it, uh, they'll gain a, once they reach to 30% or lower of their HP, they will gain a one use, a one time shield that completely cancels any damage that is less than 60% of their maximum HP, okay? So one way to think about it is that it almost cancels the next attack that tries to hit you, all right? As long as it's not like a, as long as the, the hit wouldn't normally one shot you. Uh, if if you were at full HP, okay, because um, it does have to be less than sixty percent at the maximum HP, so it's not too bad. All right, the main thing that I'm looking at is the first passive, the increase in strength by fifty percent. That's the main thing I'm looking at uh, that I think is worth noting. All right, so the next dragon is Pazuzu. It's a five star wind dragon. All right. His activated ability, Catastrophic Winds, deals wind damage to enemies in a line, reduces their defense by 5%, and inflicts poison. Uh, passive abilities, all right, if the user is attuned to wind, increases strength by 50%. Uh, second passive, if the user is attuned to wind, increase damage to poison enemies by 20%. Now, this one's actually pretty good, to be honest, um, because, well, okay, We'll start off with the, the activated ability, okay? So the activated ability where it deals, uh, it does a beam damage, okay? In a, in a form of a beam, reduces their defense by 5%, which makes it not only easier to do more damage to them, but it also poisons them, which is damage over time, okay? On top of the fact that he has his own passive, which, in, which does increase damage to poisoned enemies. So not only are you deep buffing them, and afflicting damage over time, but you're also doing like a, but you're doing also doing like a, a damage buff at the same time to it. It's it's really good. Pazuzu is really good. On top, uh, one thing you do need to keep in mind though is the fact that when you do transform into your dragon form, you can only use the activated skill. The so like in this case, catastrophic catastrophic winds that I'm tapping. I don't know if you can see that. You can only use that ability once during that transformation, okay? Um, but that's not as big of a deal because of the fact that if you do it right and you have like a full win team uh, dedicated to just poisoning enemies, okay? So you have like 
two or three characters on your team dedicated to just trying to poison the enemy um, that's not as big of a deal because your team is already naturally built to try and poison enemies so when you go into dragon form even if you already used up your activated ability or you miss uh, the enemies can still be poisoned and you'll still get that increase in damage so it's actually really good he's probably going to be he's probably the best one uh out of this new set of dragons uh that come, that's coming out in this uh in this new banner in two days all right last but not least we have nidhogg who is a five star shadow dragon uh his activated ability is total eclipse deals shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies and inflicts blindness not too bad the fact that it does damage to the target and has an aoe effect as well too it's pretty nice pretty nice the the blindness is kind of like a little bonus uh his passive is the user is attuned to shadow increases strength and hp by 30 percent um it's probably no surprise that nidhogg is probably the worst out of the three um, he's not nearly as useful compared to the other two right um he's kind of very basic to be honest you could probably even say that some four star units four star uh dragon units are probably better than nidhogg so he he's he doesn't seem that great to me uh pazusu is definitely really good uh for sure especially if you have the uh the wind unit set up to support him uh, he's really good. He's the best one and Narlothotep is pretty decent as well uh, The main thing for him is the fact that he provides the uh, Strength increase the 50% strength increase um, Although the whole fact that and on, yeah, on top of the fact too that if you do Drop below the 30% you won't receive the strength increase anymore um, Which is unfortunate, but at the very least you'll gain that one time shield and I think Think, don't quote me on this, but I think there are some worm prints that also activate depending on how low your HP is. I'll have to look into that, but he's decent. He's not too bad. Okay. 50% uh, I think is the highest, if not one of the highest dragon passive strength increases in the game at the moment. So it's honestly not too bad. It's really good in terms of a strength increase. Um, but in terms of usefulness, Pazuzu has just way more actual synergy uh, overall and potent damage output compared to any of the three, any of the other two. So other than that, that was it for today, guys. I just want to quickly go over my thoughts about the new dragon units that are coming out in a couple days. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's best when I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.